Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky. I want to update you on Earth Day 2012. All right. So I made a video actually. Um, you can check up the video. It's the links up there. I listed three things I'm, that I already did, prepared myself for Earth Day, which one was the biofuel lamp. Um, you can check that out. Uh, this link there. Uh, using dead or kind of like a dead alkaline battery to recharge your solar lights so there you can check that out and um, you can also take a fresh pepper seeds that you're about to use for cooking you take those uh, seeds out and then you replant them uh, using a uh, recycle recyclable plastic egg carton right a see-through one and you can actually plant the seed there Add a bit of water and uh, tissue, and, it, and wait. Put it in the, near the window where there's a lot of sun. Within five days, you can see that the uh, the germinations will be occurring. And then you put it in a styrofoam cup or paper cup, and put some uh, potting soil in there, and let it keep growing for another five to ten days, and then you're ready to plant it out. Okay. So those are the three things I told you about that I've been doing. Uh, I want to add three more. And that is, that I find very useful, is using regular soap to wash yourself. Whether it's your face, whether it's your hair, your whole body, right? Instead of using those synthetic uh, uh, shampoo, you know, that, that's trying to market to make you look better. But, you know, to be environmentally sound and also uh, cost effective, just use soap. Uh, soap. A, a bar of soap can last for you know weeks, maybe months, depending on how you use it, and that's all you need. You can save a lot of money uh, just using soap to wash your whole body, including your hair. Right? So that's number four. Added to the list. Number five is you know instead of, uh, if you live close to your work or school, walk. Right? That's common sense. I mean, everybody suggests that. Or bike. Okay, you can bike to school or bike to work, and. I recently purchased an uh, electric bike, and I'll sh actually I will talk more about that in the future videos. Electric bike, if you you know you if you, you have your workplace or your school is about you know at least a kilometer, two kilometers away, and you don't feel like walking, you don't feel like uh, biking, uh, you're a bit lazy. Yeah, purchase electric bike. You can uh, save a lot of money. Initially, it might cost a lot of money. I bought it for seven hundred dollars for my bike, electric bike, but you know overall you know you just plug it overnight and there we go my electric bike will go about 40 kilometers for the next recharge right and it, it it takes it goes about 32 kilometers per hour so it's pretty fast okay so within the uh, the bylaw limits anyway like 32 uh, kilometers per hour so it does its uh, job and um, yeah it's, you know if you do that every day you save on uh, cost of gas and of course you also won't pollute the environment okay the lastly which I find it more interesting because I don't see a lot of people suggesting this and I think it's actually gonna save definitely save the environment and save uh, costs of living is for example you know you shower every day right and I hope you do anyway um, or bath every day or every other day whatever you choose to do those water can actually be used to water your plant, right? So what you have to do is you can redirect that using a tubing. Okay? Uh, you can buy, like usually go to a hardware store, look under uh, waterfall equipment, right? A pond equipment. There's this uh, plastic tubing, black uh, tubing. And what you want to do is you redirect it from, redirect from your um, top floor and just what you need is do a manual pump, right, using a fish tank pump, and initially we'll pull the water up, and of course that will require that initial push, right? But once the water goes through from your bathtub, right, into the tubing, all it needs is now the gravity to pull it down to your uh, rain barrel uh, on the main floor. So what you want to do is have uh, build your own uh, rain barrel. You can use actually a um, uh, plastic container or you know those uh, garbage containers sorry the large one 
and then just yeah drain the water th to that and then then we drain the water to use it for um, watering your plants right maybe in the future I'm going to show you how I'm, I, I'm going about to doing that and uh, in the long run it actually saved you a lot of money like saving the water right and saving um, the environment anyways uh, I'll talk to you soon and have a happy Earth Day 2012